what's going on guys? How's everybody doing today? I'm doing well, thank you for asking about to beat down here on this Friday evening. It is 5.57 in the p.m. on Friday. So, uh, I just finished up my kind of lackluster workout today. <coughs> uh, kind of a tad under the weather. I'm not bad. It's just a little bit under the weather and I didn't feel strong or anything. So the workout was a little lackluster. Just got done with my supper. And uh, so uh, I'm sitting here and I thought, well, now's a good time maybe to try and go over and discuss uh, my thoughts and opinions and, and kind of how I approach working out. Um, I had a guy in the comments and I could go look, uh, but I don't want to do all that. But I had a guy in my comments mention that he was stuck at like 200 and something, like 260 something or 250 or 270 or, or something like that. And he, he made a, a good comment and, and I tried to kind of tell him something in the comments, you know, to reply back. And sometimes that, that don't come across real well when you're trying to explain something that's so complex, but yet at the same time, it's not complex. It's not difficult, but sometimes it's just difficult to explain things. So, and it's going to be difficult to explain it even on the video because I'm not a speaker. I'm not a professional speaker. I don't have anything wrote down. I'm not going to say things correct sometimes of certain words and certain exercises and different things. I don't know what I'm saying half the time. I make stuff up. No, I'm just... <laughs> anyway, you get the idea. You know, things, uh, things are kind of hard to articulate sometimes. So... Oh boy, it's a tough one. This is a tough situation here. Now this is, I'm just going to say it's pretty much the same for every body part. Okay. Most people are concerned about bench pressing and then they're worried about squats and deadlifts and then everything else comes last. You got arms, but you know, arms are arms. So right now we're just going to focus on the bench press. So, how do you get past a sticking point? And I'm going to try my very best to kind of explain. And again, I got videos from the last three years you can go look at and uh, try to see what I'm even talking about. Because even I, you know, even my routine, it, it just switches up because I do my own thing. I don't do anyone else's program. I don't know about other programs. I don't care about other programs. I've always just worked out how I work out. And that's going all the way back to the 90s, into the 2000s, and when I started back in 2021, I, I just do my own thing. <coughs> so, having said that, the general consensus in my humblest opinion, let's say that you are stuck at, let's say you're stuck at 300 pounds. That's a good number to be stuck at. But let's just say 300 pounds is your one rep max. And I mean you're barely getting it. That's your one rep max. And whew, you got it done. Okay. Now you're, you're going back and you're working out again. <clears throat> you're doing chest again. And you're doing the same workout you just did. And hopefully if you're lucky, you're going to get that 300 pounds again for one rep. And then the next week or your next chest day, you might say, well, I'm going to take it. I'm going to do something a little different today. So I'm going to back off the weight a little bit and maybe stop at like 255 or 275 or something like that, you know, instead of going to 300. That's a good idea. So you do that and then you go back your next week or your next workout and you're still stuck at 300 pounds for one really tough rep. Well, let's get some things out in the open here uh, that I should have done in the first place. So number one, what are your goals? Number two, what is your food intake like? And by food intake, I mean everything in general, plus your protein. Are you drinking enough water? You got to be hydrated. Your body needs hydration. Your body needs water. We're all made up of water. How is your sleep? Is your sleep okay? Is it decent? Are you getting at least, for me, four hours of sleep is like probably your eight. So are you getting six hours of sleep? Or are you getting eight hours? Or are you getting like three or four hours? 
So that's what you got to look at there as well. Let's say all that's fairly perfect, fairly good. You're doing pretty good there. Uh, my humble opinion on as far as what you should be getting as far as protein goes, one gram of protein per body pound. And I learned that in the magazines back in the 90s. You know, in the Flex magazines, Muscle Mag, and all that. And uh, forgive me, I've got a little food in my teeth, I think. Don't pay attention. Cut the video. But, uh... <clears throat> so let's just say your nutrition and your hydration and your sleep and, and all this stuff is okay. You know, and you're doing all right. Okay. So you're stuck at 300 pounds. Mike, how can I get past 300 pounds? I've been stuck there for like six months. Okay. Well, the first thing you need to do is stop doing 300 pounds. What you need to do is drop down to 225 all right let's so and and it's gonna get complicated from here so 225 how many reps can you get let's assume that you can get 10 reps of 225 okay that's good that's fantastic that's what you need to do all right let's go to 255 all right how many reps can you get there uh, I can get about five Maybe six on a good day. Five or six on a good day at 255. Okay, so let's jump up to 275. What's your 275 like? Well, I can get about, I can get about two, two or three on those. It just, it just depends on the day, if I slept good, if I didn't sleep good, if I, if I ate my little extra protein or not. So you're getting about two to three at 275 and you're topping out at one at 300. Okay, so what you need to do now is you need to get to where you can do 275 for 10 reps. Let's just say 10 reps. So you need to be working on in between 200, 225 to 275 to be able to get all these different points at 10-ish reps. We'll say 10-ish reps. <clears throat> so again, it's, it's difficult to say. And again, uh, just to kind of get off that for just a second, we're all different. Uh, we're all built different. We all have natural strengths. Again, uh, I've mentioned before, I know people in my town that are like big dudes that could probably lay down and bench press whatever and they don't work out. They're just big farm dudes, mechanics, people that work in the train yards and different stuff like that. And they're just used to moving heavy stuff. So... Uh, you, you have some, some factors in there. Uh, how strong are you mentally? How badly do you want it? You know, how much are you willing to push yourself? Uh, and I also like to mention, like, your anger, your rage. How is that? Your depression and your anxiety. Because all those things can actually, they're not good. That's not good to have. But they can also, they, they can kind of work together to help a workout unfortunately and uh, I experienced that so there's some thing there's a lot of very vari uh, variables out there you got to kind of look at and think about but uh <clears throat> so if you're stuck at 300 pounds you need to be working on some weights in between 225 ish we'll say and 275 up to 280 and you know and you're gonna start climbing now you got 275 at, at 10 reps you should be able to pop out 300 now at probably three reps. Let's say three reps at 300 now. All right, you got past it. Good job. All right, so now what's your next course of action? Well, you want to throw on another plate. So you're going to put on another 45, and you want to have three plates. So now you're wanting to do 315. So at 315, you are lucky if you can get that one rep. Uh, let's say you get that one rep at 315 and that's all you got and you about blew your gut out doing it. So then you start over again. Okay, let's go back to 225. 225 is a magic number for me. I love working out with 225. Now I'm not saying you're going to get the biggest and strongest with 225, but 225 is a good number. So you go to 225 and you do 10 reps. Maybe you do 15 reps. Then you pop up and let's do 255. You got it. 10 reps. 10 reps 
pretty decent uh, without too much of a struggle. You got 10 reps. Then you get to 275 and you get, let's say now you got, for whatever reason, now you got maybe eight reps at 275. So let's say you pop up to 295 and you get uh, five reps. Okay, that's 295 and five reps. That's pretty good. So let's go ahead and throw that 315 on. <clears throat> let's throw that 315 on again. I'll be darned. Maybe you get it two reps now. So you kind of see how you got to do. You have to work in reps and sets in order to get to higher weights and higher PRs. You have to mix in these with these and they all work together to take you to the next step. So I wanted to add in one more thing. I'm telling you my routine and how I kind of do things, but there's also days whenever I do, I'll work up to a heavy set, to a heavy, my heavy set, and I'll do one rep. And I might do that same weight, three, four, five, ten sets of one rep. Just in other words, I'm doing, maybe my workout consists of a lot of one rep heavy weights. <coughs> You know, I'm up there in the heavyweight, so I'm just doing a lot of one rep stuff. And then I might do like a one set of a lighter weight and rep out something. So uh, I just wanted to add that in here. Now there's programs that tell you to do this and programs that tell you to do that. And, and, and people will go on a program and they'll get tired of it after just a couple weeks because they don't see no results. Well, you're not going to see results in a couple weeks. Then they try this and, well, they stay on it for maybe a month or something. Eh, well, I'm tired of doing it. I want to do something else. Listen, the, the thing to working out is just work out. You're just lifting weight. That's all it is. You need to have a goal. If you're wanting to make goals, you need to have a goal. And that's where you work towards that goal. And that's, again, whether you're doing bench press or squat or deadlift or shoulder presses or a bicep curl or anything bent rows all that good stuff it all matters it shrugs it's all it's all connected you have to make goals and that's one thing that I didn't do all those years that I worked out off and on off and on off and on off and on I didn't have any goals and I look back at that now and I'm like that's so weird that I didn't have any goals like you know I don't know if I ever had a goal to bench 400 pounds well I know I didn't I didn't have any goal to bench 400 pounds. I never even thought about it. You know, I, uh, squats. I never really had a goal. Hmm, I wonder if I can get this one on my squat. No, because I can't even squat correctly. Back then, I couldn't squat correctly. And I've just recently learned how to do that over the past couple of years. So, you got to have goals. If you don't have goals, then, you know, it, it's almost like you're just going to sit there and spin in place and not go anywhere. And uh, I've been there and done it. <clears throat> so I hope you can kind of understand kind of what I'm getting at and don't be scared to use barbells and dumbbells and machines and whatever it is you want to use uh, to get a workout because any workout you do is going to go towards bettering yourself it don't matter what it's on but let's let's make sure that if you're wanting to go for a PR with bench press of course your focus is the barbell so you want to make sure that you do keep that added in there and here's another thing when, when I really got serious and wanted to, and, and was going for my 405 pound bench, uh, I didn't bench once a week. I didn't even bench twice a week. I started benching three times a week and I was mixing them up. Now that don't mean I did a barbell every time <clears throat> for each day. Sometimes I do my dumbbells. So, and sometimes I do incline, you know, don't just do flat, do incline because it's all work in the chest and the delts and the arms and the back to some degree. I don't know about back as as far as you know as much as some people uh, put a lot of emphasis on the back when you bench. I don't know. I put a lot more emphasis on your arms. I'll be honest. I know it's kind of the I'm in the minority there. It's kind of a weird thing to say, but try to bench press without your arms. So <clears throat> you know that'll that'll kind of show you how important your arms are, and. Uh, I'm going to try to remember to go back on that real quick, but let me finish saying with your bench workouts. You do not work out a body part. 
You don't have to even work out a body part three times a week. But I did that because I thought, all right, I really need to push myself. I need to, I need to really get this done and get it going because I'm ready to get this, I'm ready to get this goal done. So I really did that. So I did it that for that purpose. Um, I would say you don't need to work out your body a body part more than twice a week, especially if you're going to hit it hard and heavy, be it hard and heavy with heavier weights and lower reps, or hard and heavy with a little bit lighter weights and more reps. Right? Like I said, you got to have them both. But you do not need to work out your chest even three times, four times, five times, six. There's people out there doing, you know, chest and stuff like that and squats like almost every day. Now, some people can do it. Some people can get away with it. But you're going to be, again, in the minority as far as that going. It depends on how much you exert yourself and I guess the nutrition and the sleep. But... I personally wouldn't recommend trying to go that many days and especially heavy like I'm not gonna go for 405 pounds every week I'm just not gonna do it why Mike why not well because I'm not gonna put my body through that much stress that's my max now I did 410 but for 405 to 410 I mean that's that's your max so that's my max so I'm not going to do that every week and put my body through that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to have weeks where I'm doing the more reps, and the more sets, and really working out my chest and getting that pump and working out all the muscles and my delts, my chest, my triceps. Let me get back to those. Don't forget. <clears throat> but you don't need to be working out like that, you know, and killing your body because you're overtraining at that point. You know, you, you can't do that. You can't overtrain or you're just, you're going backwards. So let me get on the triceps here. Triceps for me, in my humble opinion, when you're bench pressing are, is the one of the biggest, most important muscles you're gonna be using uh, to move that weight. Uh, so you need to work out your triceps hard and heavy. Again, just follow the same kind of routine that you might follow with your chest. There's days when I go heavy and lighter, lighter uh, you know, uh, fewer reps. And there's days when I go lighter and more reps. Sometimes I'll mix them. I'll mix them together in one workout. And that's fine too. But just know you don't need to max and max and max and max all the time. Because <clears throat> after a while, that just starts beating away at your body too much. You know, we're only human. We only got like little flesh and bone and, uh, you know, little ligaments and tendons and stuff holding us together. And you only got so many movements in you. So you don't want to overdo things. And uh, really, I mean, I don't really know much else to say other than that's just kind of my take on it. <clears throat> Again, slow and steady wins the race. You're not going to start working out today necessarily and be benching 300, bound, 300 pounds by next week. So uh, I was one of those that moved up really quick. So it, it can be done. When I started in the 90s, like, I got to 225 within, like, just a couple of weeks or so. But, again, we're not all the same. I got to 225 pretty quick. <clears throat> and then 300 pounds came up, you know, reasonably fast. It wasn't that big a deal. That don't mean I'm repping 300 pounds at the time. But I was able to hit 300 pounds. And before long, you know, you're going up a little bit more. And way back then, uh, my max bench was, like, 380. I don't think I got that on video, but I think I got a 370 or 375 on video from way back then. So, and that's working out off and on, off and on, off and on. And my diet was just the great American diet. Eat as much as I want, anytime I want, and just junk and everything else. So, uh, I can't do that anymore. Number one, I just can't eat that much. And then number two, you don't need to eat that kind of crap. Because, I mean, it was the great American diet. So... You know, again, we're all different. We're all going to progress differently. If you took, say, five people and put them on the exact same routine, the exact same foods, the exact same rest, the exact same everything, 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 every day, you're going to have this person who barely gets anywhere. And you're going to have this person that excels and is outdoing everyone. And then you got people in between. So everyone's different. You're going to do things differently and you're going to respond differently <clears throat> and 
This goes to all you out there because there's a lot, there's a lot of younger guys out there that their first thing is, uh, oh, what do you think about steroids? What do you think about TRT? Or what do you think about this? What I think is, I mean, why? Why would you even do it? Number one, you wouldn't even want to think of doing stuff like that until you've put in like three to five years of working out. Why would you do it now? and risk things now and get your body worn out now and used to drugs now instead of building a good solid base good solid foundation naturally those drugs are only going to take you so far and in my humble opinion not only are they potentially dangerous for you uh, just n health wise longevity wise heart wise but they're also, in my humble opinion, if you overdo these things, and we've seen it a lot of times with these guys, you know, professional bodybuilders and all these different people, they're, you know, throwing a chest out and throwing an arm out and, you know, throwing a lot of stuff out and hamstrings and popping quads and everything else. In my humble opinion, now I don't have science to back it up, but I believe that when you overdo, you overuse that kind of stuff, uh, you're weakening your body because... You're starting to move weights faster than your body can keep up. Whereas me, knock on wood, uh, where's wood? Here's wood. I've been going and going and going all these years naturally. In my early years, off and on, off and on, off and on. And then from 2007 to 2010, it was semi-serious. I said I was serious in another video, but I was not serious. It was semi-serious. I still was missing and my diet was crap and everything so but I did make gains in that point and I don't forgot where I'm at but anyway I've been working out this whole time yeah uh, steroids naturally and there is no reason for me to have wanted to be on anything and I have no reason to get on anything now I'm not gonna compete it kind of it, it kind of it, it makes me wonder you know who am I gonna impress the 10 people that watch my videos, you know, am I impressing myself in here doing, you know, by myself looking in the mirror and risking my health and spending money and, you know, all these different risks and things? Who, who you know, what would it do you? What, what good's it going to do you? Probably none. And nine times out of 10, if not 10 times out of 10, you're not going to go anywhere with bodybuilding or powerlifting or power bodybuilding or Olympic lifts or this lift so you're not gonna really go that far we all think we're gonna do these things but we're not so you need to just train and get a good solid foundation naturally and build your body up and build all the tissue up naturally and that way you're safe and you're not risking getting injuries in my humble opinion uh, quite as easily so uh, all these years going I've not done anything uh, like as far as ripped a pack or anything, I did hurt my shoulders from two separate bench lifts many, many years ago. One at my one friend's house and one at another friend's house because I, you know, they were new benches to me, never benched on them, and I didn't even really warm up. I just threw 300 pounds on there both times, uh, at both places, and just kind of jumped to 300 pounds quick. And this shoulder, and then this shoulder, you know, at another house. So, and then this shoulder from playing disc golf as well. So, uh, that's my issue with my shoulders. And that was my stupidity for not, you know, doing things smart. So, this is a long video. It's tw going on 24 minutes. But I tried to explain as best I can, in my humble opinion, what I, th what I think I sort of do. And uh, like I said, things change in my routine, like on the fly. Or, you know, and I don't even think about it. I just... Well, I don't want to do that. I'm going to do this. Or I don't want to do this. I'm going to, oh yeah, I'll do this and not that. So, you know, I, I can't tell you what to do, but I wouldn't worry too much about programs. I would just worry about lifting these weights, adding a little bit more along the way, get to this point, drop back down, get reps, 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 work your way back up, get a, get a new PR, get a new this, drop back down, reps, 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 reps. Now you're able to get another PR because you've built up your body, you've built everything up, rep, you know, get your new PR, and you just rinse and repeat. And uh, you're going to have good days, you're going to have bad days, we all do. 
I've been kind of under the weather the last two days, so uh, my workouts have kind of suffered the last two days. So I hope I helped you a little bit, and I probably didn't because I'm not really great at explaining these kind of things. And again, at the end of the day, I think people make things just overly difficult and complicated. Uh, as some people do say, you're literally just picking a weight up and setting it down. And how you progress is just how you go about it, you know. So, you know, that's I think I've added about all I can add. And there's a gazillion better people out there that you can go watch. I'm not one of those guru people, you know, that anybody knows or cares about. I'm just a little old stupid me out here in my little own world doing my own thing. So, but I wanted to I wanted to touch base with that guy on that question, and uh, everyone else that that uh, asks over the time. And uh, anyway, so, phew, guys, I hope you enjoy the video, and uh, if you enjoy the channel, maybe like, share, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff to the body beat down. That's me, Michael, your long-winded host to. Don't really want to be a long-winded host, but I am. Anyway, get up, get out, get red, do it to it, and uh, we'll see you next time on The Body Beatdown. Hope I helped you a little bit. See ya. Get up, get out, get red, and do it to it.